We're here today with Las Vegas legend Clint Holmes. He will be performing at the Sam's Town Las Vegas on New Year's Eve, and he's graciously agreed to give an interview for our social media fans. Thank you, sir. Great to be here. Good to see you. Great. Okay, so let's get into the questions. Okay. What's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? Oh, wow. The weirdest thing a fan has ever done for me. Well, there's a, um, a, a lovely lady here in Vegas who um, every year, uh, 4th of July, if I'm performing my birthday, if I'm performing Christmas, if I'm performing, brings me a big thing of roses. And I don't rem remember that it's going to happen, so I'll be out there doing my show on the 4th of July, and here comes running down the aisle, comes this little lady with all these roses, and, she <laughs> them, and I go, oh yeah, that's right, 4th of July, you know, and then I'm doing my show a year, half a year later, and it's Christmas or something, and here she comes again. So it it's, it's, it's really sweet. It's that's really sweet. Great. Wonderful. Can you do any surprising accents or impressions? Oh my God, uh, uh, surprising accents. Oh, I do these, but um, I don't know if that's surprising. I used to do, I actually used to do a Johnny Mathis impression and a Tom Jones impression in my act. I haven't done them for years. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> that, that's obviously Johnny Mathis, I hope. And Tom would be, uh, why, why, why? Like, yeah. <laughs> Haven't done them in years, but uh, those are, they were actually two of my friends, which is, you know, why I like to make fun of them when I see them. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. What's your favorite song to perform? I think right now, um, a Leonard Cohen song called Hallelujah, um, which a lot of people perform. Um, but I, I would say that right now in this moment, that that's my favorite because it's, uh, it, it, I, I kind of sing it to my father. So uh, every night when I get to sing it, I'm having a, a little bit of a conversation with my dad and that's kind of cool. Excellent. Can we hear a line of it? Um, now I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? Oh, that's great. Thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. It's a beautiful song. <laughs> that is beautiful. Which performance was most memorable from your time in the Army Chorus? Well, early on when I was in the Army Chorus, um, I sang a solo at the White House. That was pretty, I, I got in, in the chorus about uh, one year into my army career, if you will, and uh, almost literally two days after I was in, they called me in and said, uh, we're doing a concert at the White House and we want you to sing a solo. So I, I think that that was probably, even though I did quite, quite a, we opened the St. Louis Arch um, in the army chorus. Uh, we, we, we honored uh, Walt Disney, one of Walt Disney's birthdays, obviously while he was still with us. Um, but that first army chorus solo at the White House, I think was it. Wow, great. Do you have a favorite restaurant in Las Vegas? You know, in Las Vegas, what's interesting is a lot of downtown restaurants have opened up, you know? Um, for, and for those of us who live here, it's, it's kind of nice not to always have to go to the Strip or, you know, uh, to, or even to a hotel. So there's a, a restaurant called Sparrow, Sparrow and Wolf that I like a lot that uh, we went to with uh, my friend Mac King, who's a magician, Mac and his wife Jennifer, and my wife and I went there uh, to celebrate uh, Jen's birthday. Yeah. Excellent. If you had to choose a non-entertainment career, what would you do with your life? Non-entertainment, okay, well, if I couldn't sing, I would write, right? But that's, I, I guess, still under the umbrella of, of entertainment career. So I, you know, I would, I would be in sports somehow. I would love to be a, a baseball announcer or a football announcer or a guy on ESPN, that would be fun. Excellent. What was your time with Joan Rivers like on The Late Show starring Joan Rivers? Joan was one of my heroes. Um, uh, long story short, uh, her, she, had, she did the first show on, on Fox Television back in 1987. Um, and we had been touring together, so she asked me to come out. To, I was living in uh, New York. She asked me to come to L.A. and audition for the role as her announcer. Um, then she warned me that I was not what the network was looking for. They had a different type of guy in mind. So I went out. And I auditioned, and uh, I did a good audition, and uh, they said no. And Joan called me up, and he said, she said, can you stay here a couple more days? And I said, I will. And she got me back in to re-audition. And, and basically what she did is forced me on them because she believed in me and, be, and because she was that kind of a person. So I love Joan Rivers. I love that. Okay. Which other Vegas performers do you respect and enjoy working with? I just did a show with Earl Turner. Uh, who's one of my best friends, and uh, we, we had a ball doing the show together. Uh, 
we did it for almost a year together. In fact, we're still we're still doing it, you know, uh, outside of the city. So I love working with Earl. I love working with my wife. Kelly is a is an entertainer, and we do a, a lot of a lot of singing and clowning around together. Uh, as far as respecting, listen, um, if you can make a career in, in this business, I respect you. Uh, sometimes it doesn't even mean that I, I, I love the music you sing. It doesn't matter because j just to persevere and um, is, is incredibly difficult in the entertainment business. So I respect everybody who does this. What's next for you after New Year's Eve at Samstown? You know, after New Year's Eve at Samstown, actually I go to um, Palm Beach, Florida to do a concert uh, honoring the music of Ella Fitzgerald. Uh, it's her 100th anniversary. And I'm a part of it. Uh, Patty Austin is on it, and Monica Mancini, and some great singers. So that's the the very next thing that I do. Um, and then I'm going to be uh, at Birdland in New York doing a series of jazz concerts. So I'm kind of mixing it up and doing things that I love. Great. How do you usually spend New Year's Eve? That's an interesting question. It used to be that I worked every New Year's, you know. Uh, and for the past three out of five, I can I think that's right. Kelly and I have neither one of us has worked and so we have had a, a dinner parties with friends which is kind of fun but but this year it's interesting because both of us get to, to be out there I'm, I'm obviously at Samstown and and my wife is opening a, um, a new uh, private club the same night so we're, we're working on opposite ends of the of the spectrum but it's gonna be fun for both of us great what would you like to tell your fans who are coming to Samstown for your New Year's Eve performance one of the exciting things about this is that when I first came to Vegas back at the turn of the century you know, in 2000, um, I had a seven year run at Harris and I had a band called Santa Fe, an incredible band. At the end of that run, Santa Fe went on doing its own thing and I've been doing all the things that I've been doing. Well, for this one night, Santa Fe is gonna be my band again. So it's like a reunion of my very first band in Las Vegas which is still maybe the best band I've ever worked with. So we're uh, so I'm doing the show with the band Santa Fe, and uh, it's it's that's very exciting for me. Great, thank you so much. We're excited to have you. And just so our fans know, tickets are available now at Samstown Box Office on the Samstown website or at 800-745-3000. We'll see you on New Year's Eve. Thank you.